Hey everyone, it's Barry from Barry's Aquarium, and for today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be going all throughout my tanks. We're gonna be collecting some water, and then we're gonna be looking at it with a microscope right here. And I think it's gonna be really cool. I hope we're gonna see some cool microscopic organisms, that sort of thing. So without further ado, let's get started. So what I have here are just some little cups and we're gonna go and just scoop up some water. That's a little too much. I don't think we're gonna need that much, but just gonna scoop up a little bit of water from each of my tanks. So let's go. Oh, 20 gallon. Other five gallon. And the big tank. Okay, so we got the water. We have the five gallon, this one right here. Then we have the 20 gallon, the other five gallon, and then we have the, the 40 gallon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some microscope slides. I already have some picked out. Get all four. Lay them out. And then get this little pipette right here. Scoop some water up. So 40 gallon. Probably only need like two drops. Don't need too much. Five gallon, 20 gallon and the five gallon on my desk. So then what we're gonna do is just get some cover slips. All right, so we're all set. The slides are all ready to go. All we need to do is turn on the microscope, grab the slide, put it underneath, and take a look. All right guys, so I just put the first slide on. It's from the five gallon on my desk right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see what I can see. Get it into focus first. Interesting. Very interesting. So if you're wondering what I can see, uh, sorry to disappoint you guys, but I really can't see anything. I was afraid that would happen. So the reason I can't see anything is because we took the water from the aquariums from the top of the aquarium, where I don't think there's too many microorganisms. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take some water from the gravel. So I'm gonna go in with the pipette and stick it in and suck up some fish poop and mold, that sort of thing. And then put it in the little cups and put it on the slides and see what we can see. So this is how I'm gonna get the new little samples or whatever. So I just got a little cup of the aquarium water and then I'm gonna take this pipette and we're just gonna go into the gravel and hopefully suck up a bunch of gross, nasty stuff. So this is what I sucked up. You can kind of see it in the pipette. Just a bunch of fish poop. And now we're just gonna put it in the... Okay, well, the thing is, all right, I don't know if you can see that, but I just completely missed the cup and sprayed it all over this paper towel. So I'm gonna have to redo that, but you guys get the general idea. All right guys, I managed to get all the nasty water from the pipette and get it into these cups. So we have the five gallon right here, the 20 gallon, 40 gallon, and other five gallon. Sucked up all this nasty crap. You can see it right there, just a bunch of fish poop and nasty stuff. I also cleaned off all the slides, so all we need to do is stick our pipette into the little cups and stick them on the slides. All right, so they're all done and let's take a look and see if we can actually see something this time. We're going with the five gallon again, like the first time, stick it in there, move it around so I can see where all the stuff is. All right, let's take a look, let's get into focus. Oh yeah, that's a lot better, dang. All right, I see, I already see a lot of cool stuff. Let me get into focus. Hurry up and show you guys. Dang, that stuff's cool. All right. All right, so that's what I see. That looks like some sort of planaria worm or something. Wow, this is way better than the other slide. I couldn't see anything. So you can see little hairs off of it. Not sure what this is. Leave a comment down below if you do know what this is. I'm thinking some sort of like planaria worm or detritus worm. Oh man, that looks really cool. So I'll go ahead and move this slide around a little bit more and see if I can see anything else. All right, so here is the same worm, just kind of zoomed in a lot more. You can see it has little hairs. I think it uses to move around. That looks like it's digestive tract. We'll get it moving. Let's go up to the face. So here's the front of it. Whoa. Ooh, it's so gross. 
It's got little black dots everywhere. This thing is really cool. Um, wasn't actually expecting to see anything this cool. I was mainly just expecting to see a bunch of little tiny dots moving, but this is really interesting. All right, so I was just looking around again and I managed to find some smaller looking worm things. Uh, let's get in a little more focus. Now, I believe these actually might be detritus worms, but man, there's a lot of them. There's one, two, couple over here. And that seems to be the only things that I've been able to find in here, just this big worm guy right here. I did see a little bit, I did see a little blob thing kind of move by, just like a little amoeba or something, I'm not really sure. I might do a little bit of research and show you guys, uh, put the names of all these creatures in here if I do find out. And if I don't, uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you know what they are. Here's a little blob thing. There's two of them. All right, so the rest of those slides were pretty, uh, didn't really have anything in it. The tank with the most uh, microscopic life that I can see is in this five gallon tank right here on my desk. It has the most. So I got a few more slides and I put them in here and let's check it out. So what I ended up finding was a whole bunch more of those worm things. There's two right here. Let's see if there's one. There's one. Now these things are pretty cool looking. There's a bunch more little worm things right by them. See, there's a couple smaller ones and there's some like amoeba things. So yeah, the five gallon tank definitely has the most interesting life in it inside the gravel. Uh, it's got a lot of variety. These big worm things, these small worm things. Sorry, I, I don't know what any of these are called, so I'm just calling them what they look like, worms. Little amoeba thing. But yeah, this is really interesting, really cool. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making it. It was super cool to see those different creatures that live inside your fish tank, it's just super weird. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit different, so I'll see you guys on the next video. So make sure to like and subscribe, and peace out.